Hey, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Happy Friday. 58 degrees here this morning. We're at low tide. Take a little walk out onto the sandbars there, see what we can find this morning. Pretty calm out here this morning, really calm. I see a dolphin just up, up the beach here, just along the edge of the sandbar. See if he's gonna come down here. Hopefully it's coming this direction. It's playing out in the water, straight out ahead of me here. I don't know if he's going to come in close or not here. Let's see if I can bring him in here, get cut across into the water onto this sandbar out here. See him splashing out there? Whoa! See him racing up to the beach? I mean, he's right on the edge. See if I can zoom into him out there. See him right up to the edge of the sandbar out here. See his fin sticking up there, his dorsal. You see him out there? Where did he go? There he is. Come on, come closer to me, buddy. There he is. He might come in a little closer to us. The water is not very deep out here. We are at low tide right now. Just slowly making its way down the beach. Go. Weird. Oh. Darn it, I wish you'd come in closer. Staying under for a little while here now. Where did he go? Whoop! He's dilly dallying. He got behind me now. He came up right by that white post, that marker. I'm really slow now. Where did he go? Up! Now he got ahead of me. Ugh. See if we see him one more time. You go? There he is. I'm actually out on the sandbar now.
Where'd you go? There he is. Just one this morning, just one dolphin here. There'll probably be some more coming by in a while. Unless they already pass. Ooh, there's, oh darn, I missed him that time. He's getting a little further ahead of me now. I'm running out of sandbar. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled, you might see him come up again. I really can't see, I'm not, I can't read the water here. There he is to the left. He's not making any kind of little trail or ripples in the water as he's swimming along the beach here. And I'm just about as far down as I can go here. Well, out here. Nope. It's just out in front of me here. I think he's still out in front of me. Yep, you can just see his fin sticking up out of the water there. Is he going to come into it closer? Uh, I think he's going to swim down the beach. Darn it. Whoop, he's turning around here. Is he gonna come back up? Just out in front of me. Not very active though. Where'd you go? Where did you go? He is staying under, he's right out here in front of me, under the water. I think I see bubbles coming up. He's just sitting, he's just laying on the bottom, right in front of me, right out in here. Not doing anything. Now I lost the bubbles. Nope, it's right out in front of me here. There he is. He's just hanging on the bottom. Can you see his little fin sticking up? Now he's coming, gonna go up the beach now. He's moving kind of fast here. Keeping that fin up. Great look though. He comes up. Oop, there goes the tail splash. Now he's going under. There's the fin again, the tail splash. Just, just offshore me there. Pretty good size. Possibly a male. He hears me. He definitely hears me over here. Splashing. He stopped. The water's maybe two feet deep here. Where'd you go? Right here in front of me. Just checking the bottom. Blowing the bubbles. That 
tail thump. Incredible. I'm out about knee deep water, right beside this guy. Incredible. Where are you going, dude? Where are you going? closer to me here. Now he's getting further away. What a great morning, huh? Just incredible. This guy just swimming back and forth here. On down under. There he comes. I wish he'd make a charge into the beach here. Boy, he's going. Boy, he's really, he's tearing up the beach now. He's way up there now. Look at him. He's moving. He is moving. He's up there. Back up the beach, right in line with that white pole back there. He is tearing. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see that splash? Wow. He just made a big charge at the beach. There he is. I know it's hard to see in the video. I'm doing the best I can. Chasing him up and down through the water here, out on the sandbar. I hope you can see him out there. He's heading up the beach now. So he's gonna make another charge in really moving fast up there. You see him in the distance. Uh, he's getting away from me. Oh, he is moving. He's coming in to shore though. See his fin there? He's coming in. This is where we first spotted him. I do hear an osprey out there in the background. You hear it? Wow. Too much fun. There's that tail splash. Well, so nice to see our dolphins out here. one right now. There'll be others. Where are you going? Are you going to turn around? Come back the other way? Splashing your tail? Where are you at? Sorry. Getting off the edge of the screen there. Whoa, where you at, bud? Having a hard time. I got a big reflection on the screen here, sorry. We got a couple good looks at this guy this morning. That was fun. Just off the sandbar. He might turn around. Make one more pass 
down the beach and we'll be able to follow him. He's heading out into deeper water right now. Heading out into deeper water. Now he's turning to the south. Coming back at us now. That is so cool. So much fun seeing these guys. Hey, tomorrow morning's beach walk is going to be streamed from Nonstop Naples Facebook page. Nonstop Naples Facebook page. You might want to like that page now. Nonstop Naples. That's where the beach walk's going to be streamed from tomorrow. Just been following a dolphin back and forth this morning. Just about the whole time I've been here so far. Tomorrow morning, the beach walk's gonna start at 7.45, right around 7.45. So the dolphin's moving back down the beach here. Coming in a little closer. Oh, here he comes for big charge. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. As soon as they do that, all of a sudden the seagulls start showing up overhead. Where are you going, bud? Here he goes again. Whoa! I gotta zoom out quick. You don't want to get too close. Get a little wider shot when he makes that run into the beach if he does it again. Here, breathe. He's moving up, moving up the beach now again. So neat watching this guy. All you dolphin lovers. I'm out here in long pants, I'm drenched. I think he's gonna come in towards the shore again up here. to me and say good morning. Sure like to see him jump up out of that water. He's just meandering back and forth out here this morning. There he goes. Whoa. That is so cool. Wow. My legs are tired. He just stopped. He's just stopped out here in front of me. He's probably taking a breather just like me. There he goes. Popping up there. Can you see him in the middle of the screen? Whoa, there he goes. Wow. Right into the shore. Right up to the edge of the sandbar. Wow. I think he's gonna come back this way again by George. Where are you going? Right out in front of me here.
This is the epitome of a beach walk right here. This is the best thing we can ever witness. The neatest thing during our beach walks is these dolphin encounters. He's just resting right out in front of me. Hopefully he's resting. Hopefully he's not in distress. Just right. Whoa. He was waiting for a fish to come by or something. That was cool. I almost got right next to him. Then he made his charge. Where are you going? right here. He's just hanging out here. Where's he going? What an awesome, awesome morning. This guy has been hanging out here for quite a while. been watching him all morning. Now he's going back down the beach. He's come back and forth along the sandbar in area one here. I spotted him as soon as I came out. As soon as I came out to the water. Actually, I saw him when I was up on the boardwalk this morning. I don't know where the rest of them are. This is where it gets hard to follow them when they get offshore like this. He's got it. This is what he did before he got ahead of me. Then he came back in further down the beach. We've probably followed him three times now along the beach. Now, I don't see him. I see some bubbles out there. Whoa, he's, sorry folks, he's gotten really far down here now. He's way down here. That's what, that's what happened just 10 minutes ago. He got way ahead of me, then turned and came back. Came in closer to the beach. He's out here. He might be heading south now. Yep, he's getting pretty far away from me now, darn it. I'm gonna go back to my wide view here. Maybe he'll come back and pay us one more visit, but he's bobbling around out there again. Beautiful morning. It was 58 when I stepped foot on the beach first thing this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Now he's further, much further down now. He's way down there. I'll keep an eye out if he turns around one more time. What a great morning. What a beautiful morning seeing a dolphin like that. Great way to start the day. Means we're gonna have a, we're gonna have good luck when we see a dolphin on our beach walks. Yeah, he's 
There's a pelican flying by. See it there in the center of the screen? Yeah, but it looks like our dolphin has moved down to the south. What a great encounter this morning. What a great encounter. Absolutely wonderful. Beautiful out here this morning. No red tide. The water picking up the blue from the sky this morning. No bad smells. No irritated eyes. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Earlier, while we are chasing the dolphin up and down the beach, I did hear an osprey calling out from one of the trees. Maybe we'll see that osprey this morning. There's a nice cockle shell, half a cockle shell, buried on the beach here, buried in the sand. I thought it was a live one the way it was buried. Nope. It's a nice, beautiful souvenir for those that want to walk out onto the sandbar, the cockle shell. What's that? Oh, that's a dolphin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The sharks are further out. Okay. <laughs> People were worried that that was a shark on the beach that we were following. <laughs> nope. One of our beautiful dolphin friends. So if you're just tuning in, you got to watch the beginning of our video. We had a great dolphin encounter got to chase, chase, follow. I was really chasing the dolphin back and forth just off the sandbar. As you can see, we're at low tide here. So they're gonna be a little further offshore, but this guy came in pretty close a couple times. We got a couple good looks at him, him or her. So I definitely wanna check that out. He has since made his way down the beach now. There might be another one or two or three or four or five come by. You just never know when the dolphins are going to make their appearance here. Nice little breeze blowing here. So absolutely beautiful out here. Isn't that a beautiful view? That beautiful sky. Oh. Love coming out here in the mornings. The tide's slowly making its way back in here. Hey, remember, tomorrow morning, the live feed of my beach walk. Tomorrow morning's live feed is going to be streamed on Nonstop Naples Facebook page. Nonstop Naples Facebook page. So be sure to tune in. Be sure you like and follow Nonstop Naples. I'm going to start the live feed tomorrow morning at 7:45. 7:45 on the Nonstop Naples Facebook page.
I have shared their information, their Facebook information in several places, several times now. So just remember non-stop maples. Go and like their page now. Then come right back. Just gorgeous. One of my favorite views here, looking up the beach with the trees over here on the right. Just love the colors, the early morning colors. It's so calm out here. So calm. Keeping my eyes peeled for another dolphin. Maybe another little dolphin encounter. ran out into the water this morning to follow that that dolphin. Uh, I'm in blue jeans because <laughs> it was a bit on the chilly side this morning. Now I am soaking wet, almost up to the waist. The things I'll do to see a dolphin. They're just such beautiful, magnificent creatures. It's really hard to follow them, especially when you're running along, when you're running along the side of them in the water, it's real hard. That's what I was doing this morning. It's a little easier when they're close to the beach and I'm on dry land, but this morning was a little bit of a different story. I was actually right here in Osprey back in the trees on way back in the woods but if you look down the beach you can see the waves breaking i was out on the other side of those waves in about knee deep water running up and down the beach following that dolphin from about where i'm standing down past that sandbar down there that's how whoops Come on, focus. That's how much area we were covering from that sandbar down there up to here. So, that sandbar is way down there. That's where I was running back and forth from, out in the water, following that dolphin. So far, only one dolphin this morning, just one. really haven't looked for any shells this morning. I'm going to step out onto the sandbar up here. Another sandbar. Still in area one. We haven't gotten out of area one yet this morning. Looks like a little horse conch. Looks like possibly a nice little a nice little horse conch shell down there. A little baby horse comp. Nice. That's a keeper for sure. Great little horse comp. These things get huge, by the way. Huge. Tired out from my dolphin chase. <laughs> totally lost track of time. Oh, 
long have we been on for? Wow, 36 minutes already. We probably spent a good 15 minutes chasing that dolphin around. Morning. I'm gonna cut out here. There's shallow of a spot as I can find here to get out on the sandbar to my left. We will see maybe there'll still be some sand dollars out here before the tide comes in and covers them up. I see the osprey now. Yep, there's a little sand dollar right there. There's a little baby. One of the little baby sand dollars. Unfortunately, it's not alive. It seems like the majority of our sand dollars and our sea stars as well all perished because of the red tide. But everybody likes to take a little sand dollar home as a souvenir, so there's plenty of them out here on the sandbars and up on the beach. Cockle shells along the beach as well. Here's one. Here's a live cockle opened up, breathing. A live cockle shell. Little cockle. Let's see if he opens back up. Sit them in a little bit of water here, a little deeper water. And it'll take them a couple minutes to open up. You can see the waves are already starting to cover up this sandbar. Just a couple minutes ago, it was still out of the water. Tides coming in quick. What a great morning. I'm just so happy that we saw that dolphin here this morning. So, so happy. Wish we saw a couple more. Not one loner. There's a picture, hang on a minute. What a beautiful view, gorgeous view with the trees and the blue sky, the reflections in the water. Sky is gorgeous. Look at that. No red tide, in case you're curious about the red tide. No red tide here at this beach. Absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous morning here.
hey, if you enjoy these beach walks and you want to make a little contribution it's always appreciated not mandatory by no means but some of us are a little more financially blessed than others if anybody wants to make a little contribution thank you you can find my paypal account here in the description of this post i really do enjoy coming out here sharing these views with you keeping you updated with the water conditions here in north naples that's the primary primary reason for coming out here and then of course the secondary reason is just to bring people together on facebook put the social in the media feel free to introduce yourself to the group let everybody know where you're watching from i know we have a lot of friends up north that are pretty cold right now there's been some great little friendships made from people joining this group here following these beach walks there's I mean, personal friendships have been established. People have actually gotten together, met face to face. It's just amazing, the power of social media. How it brings people from all around the world together. And that's what we're all about, bringing people together and hopefully a non-threatening environment. We try not to discuss politics. Every once in a while, something will tick me off and I just can't resist saying something, but we stay away from politics. Just beautiful, that sky. So rich and blue. That water is just so blue this morning, picking the blue up from the sky. Very, very blue, quiet, calm morning. The water looks really nice, really, really nice. Good color out there where it's breaking on the sandbar. Great color to the water. A gorgeous Friday morning. Hey, hit that share button. If you enjoy these walks, hit the share button so your friends can follow along with this. There goes some pelicans. They'll be coming in from the left here. Just a foot above the water there, if you can see him. Flying north. They're going the wrong way. Supposed to be coming south.
right in this area that I'm in right here. This is the very north end of area two or maybe the very south end of area three. I don't know exactly where the line is, but right out in here when it's high tide, this is where the dolphins, recently the dolphins have been coming in here. There's usually lots of fish right off, just right off the beach, right down in here. The dolphins will almost beach themselves chasing them. So high tide, that's when you might see that action. The north end of area two, south end of area three. But I mean, honestly, there's no telling where they're gonna come up, where or when. But I've just seen, had some good encounters here. Had a great encounter this morning, great encounter. We followed a dolphin. I actually had to run out onto the other side of the sandbar into the water. I was in about knee deep water, trying to follow a dolphin back and forth up and down the beach. I did the best I could. I mean, that happened, I saw that dolphin just as soon as I got to the beach this morning. As soon as I got to the end of the boardwalk, the dolphin was out there. And that was down in area one. So you definitely want to watch the replay of this video. You can watch the replay on YouTube as well. I'll share a link to YouTube. But we did already see one dolphin this morning. And I'm guessing we probably spent about 15 minutes following him up and down the beach several times. Wore me out. The tide's just turning now, starting to come back in. It was 58 when I first stepped out onto the beach this morning. I'm sure it's warmed up a few degrees by now. I'm just gonna go a little further up the beach before turning around. And go out onto that little sandbar right up there. There's a little spot that sometimes, I don't know if you can see it up there. There's a little spot between that sandbar and the beach. There's still water in it. Sometimes some really nice little shells get caught up in there. Not all the time. And some mornings I find some nice little shells up there. Right in this, right along, right between that sandbar and the beach up there. There's never any guarantees, though. There are no guarantees in life. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Hey, tomorrow, make sure you like the Nonstop Naples Facebook page, Nonstop Naples. Do it now. Nonstop Naples. That's where the, tomorrow's beach walk is going to be streamed from. It's not going to be here on Southwest Florida Television. It's going to be on Nonstop Naples Facebook page tomorrow morning. I'm going to start the feed at 7:45 in the morning. So do be sure to follow along and like that page. Isn't that a cool view right there? I'm sorry, I got lost taking a picture there. <laughs> I was just admiring the view. That's what happens during these beach walks. I just can't resist taking some pictures. I'm going to walk down to the end of this sandbar and then walk back and see if anything got caught up right along here. Sometimes we find some nice stuff down there. Sometimes we don't. We 
we've been seeing these cockle shells. We've been seeing quite a few of these little cockles lately. These little baby cockles. Beautiful little shells. These are little cockles. You can find them the size of my hand sometimes. But what's cool is you turn it on its side and it makes that little heart. The cockle heart. The shell lady, Barbara Grove, showed me that several years ago. I thought that was interesting. The little cockle heart. Beautiful little shells. You can find these up and down the beach without the cockle inside of them. Sand dollars too. You can find sand dollars out here. And it seems the sand dollars are a little more prolific, just a little to the north and behind me, down to the south of me. Here's a cockle. Here's an open little cockle shell. Breathing there, taking a breath. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Beautiful Friday morning here in paradise. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love the shadows on the beach. I love it. Those big long shadows from the pine trees breaking across the beach. This thing is so beautiful in the morning. Pretty flat out there this morning. Feels like the wind's hit me in the back now. That's good. We want that wind coming from going, you know, blowing offshore, coming out of the east. That's what blows that red tide away and keeps it at bay, keeps it out in the Gulf. No red tide here this morning. No red tide. That's good news. any shells. A lot of times I'll see some really nice stuff caught up in here, but nothing this morning. Rats. Very, very clean. Here's something else I love. I love these little ripples in the sand. I think those are so cool. There are definitely some beautiful, beautiful sights to behold out here in the mornings. Actually, any time you come out here. Yeah, whether I find pockets full of shells, you know, pocketfuls, I just find Sometimes I fill my pockets with shells. Sometimes I go home with nothing. Very seldom do I go home with nothing, but it happens. Right now I just have one shell in my pocket and that's a little horse conch. 
Just a little baby horse, Tom. Who knows, we might find something on the way back. Never give up hope. I found some great things on my walks back. I just can't believe how flat it is out there this morning and how blue. Flat and blue. It's gorgeous. Fighting conch shell down there. Can always find these little guys. Can always count on finding a couple of these. These little fighting conchs. Sometimes they're buried in the sand. Sometimes you'll just see the tip of them sticking out. See, there's one there. Just a piece of it sticking out. Nice colors on that one. The Florida Fighting Comp. That's a nice one. Nice little shell. Good morning. I'm going to start trucking back to Area 1 where we started this morning. Remember, if you enjoy these beach walks, please tell your friends. Share my Southwest Florida television page on your page, on your Facebook page. Hit share on this live feed. Definitely want to watch the beginning of the video. Got to see a dolphin this morning. Got a couple good looks. I, must, I don't know how long I spent with them, but it had to be 15 minutes. And it was very early in my beach walk. I mean, I didn't even make it to the beach. I was walking out the boardwalk and I spotted them out there and just went out into the water i had to get out into the water because the tide was so low I had to get out on the other side of the sandbar but i'm pretty sure we got a couple good looks at it so you definitely want to check that out in the replay of this video which will be posted at the conclusion of this live feed and also will be available on youtube for eternity or till YouTube blows up. Look at that sky. Wow. It's gorgeous out here. And no red tide. That's the good news, folks. No red tide. So thankful for that. It's a blue morning. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background. I don't know what it is. It's sure disturbing the peace and quiet out here. 
It almost sounds like the medevac helicopter, the EMS helicopter. I hope there's not a big accident close by. There's a couple little shells here on the beach, but really nothing significant. Nothing significant this morning. These have been here for quite a while. you getting tossed and turned by the waves, by the tide changes. There's a nice little kitten's paw. Oof, and I dropped it. Pretty little kitten's paw shell. Little kitten paw. Those are pretty popular, especially with cat lovers. not find much in the way of seashells this morning now we didn't go up the beach all the way up this morning because I got sidetracked by that dolphin this morning which was fine with me there's a little murex that somebody missed a little murex shell that's cool see I usually always go home with something that's a nice little murex I'm going to visit some other beaches here in the upcoming weeks. I don't know how my cellular connection is going to be at them, but if I can get a cellular connection, we're going to do some beach walks from other locations. Maybe even some of our local landmarks. I don't know problem with the local landmarks is I'm not a historian I'm not a tour guide I know a lot about the beaches and what's going on here but as far as the landmarks I don't know what to tell you <laughs> so that could be interesting I might have to find somebody to tag along with me maybe one of our local historians there's a lot of interesting things here a lot of interesting things in Collier County in Southwest Florida. I'm gonna to stick to Naples. We've got some great parks, beaches, museums. There is an incredible, incredible auto museum here, the Collier Auto Museum. What, it's a private collection of cars, but it's open to the public for tours. You should Google at the Collier Auto Museum. Just amazing the cars that are in that museum. A beautiful, beautiful museum. Great building. Maybe we'll get to take a peek inside there. If I can talk them into letting me come in and do a live feed. About those live feeds, there's a good chance a lot of those live feeds are going to happen at, on the Nonstop Naples Facebook page. I'm going to be doing more and more live feeds on Nonstop Naples Facebook page, so you better make sure you like that page. As a matter of fact, tomorrow morning's beach walk, tomorrow morning's beach walk is going to be streamed on Nonstop Naples Facebook page, not Southwest Florida Television. So do, do make sure you find Nonstop Naples on Facebook. Do it today. Yeah, the sun just dipped in behind the clouds here for a little bit.
took a little dive, a little dive behind the clouds. So quiet out here this morning. Just beautiful. Haven't seen too many people. Have not seen too many people out here this morning. Just me and Mother Nature. And I am not complaining. Beautiful as we look up the beach here. No red tide, once again, no red tide. The water is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. No reason to be afraid to come out here today. You know, when you go to the beach, it's just common sense. No matter when you come to the beach, whether there's red tide, no red tide. I mean, there's just simple rules that are pretty much common sense that you should follow. One, one rule, it, it's like the golden rule. Do not go into the water if you have any open wounds, any open cuts. Stay the heck out of the water, especially the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty simple. Open wounds, stay out of the water. And then there's, keep your mouth shut when you're swimming. <laughs> you know, you might think about wearing goggles. Keep that water out of your eyes. There's bacteria in the water at all times. That's just the nature of the beast. Some people, are more susceptible to it than others. I think. And I'm looking out here, I see some ripples in the water. No. Yep. Another dolphin. I saw some ripples offshore. I think there is a dolphin popped up out there. See it? Did you see him come up over there? It's kind of far offshore. Keep looking out there. Did you see him? You should have been able to see him there. There he was. Keep looking out there. Keep looking. Uh. Staying offshore because of the low tide. Keep your eyes peeled out there. I'm guessing where he's going to come up. He or she. Ah. Darn it. Just 
so far out there. Maybe we'll get a look here. It's moving down to the south. Well, I got to see it. <laughs> Wow, it's taking a long time to come up. It's way down there now. You can see the bubbles in the water. It's way down. Darn. Well, I think you got one look at it. I think you got one peek at the dolphin. Uh, let me get these darn emoji things off my screen. That dolphin's way, way out and headed way down south. Well, that's cool. A second dolphin. We started our beach walk with a great dolphin sighting and we ended with a short dolphin sighting. Love it. Love it, love it. Look at the water. The water is just gorgeous here. Looking good. Looking good. As most of you know, I don't come get paid to come out and do these beach walks. I love doing it. I love bringing people together and keeping you updated on what's going on here at the beach. Every once in a while, somebody will send a little donation. That's awesome. I love it. I really appreciate it. If anybody feels like doing that, you can always find my PayPal account, the link to my PayPal account right here in the description of this post. Every little bit helps. Comes in handy, especially around the holidays. If you enjoy these walks and want to send something, thank you so, so much. I got to get rolling here. I got soaked this morning. I was out here in blue jeans. It was 53 when I hit the beach. I was out in the knee deep water this morning following that dolphin back and forth. So remember, you will want to check that out. That happened as soon as I, at the beginning of my walk, just as soon as I got out onto the beach. That was fun. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. When you find something you like, hit the like and share button. Remember to like and follow Nonstop Naples. Like and follow Nonstop Naples also. That's where tomorrow's beach walk is going to be streamed from. Remember that. It's not going to be here on Southwest Florida Television. It's going to be on Nonstop Naples. So be sure to tune in. Give you one more look down the beach. No red tide, beautiful blue sky. Great beach day. TGIF, huh? Just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Well, thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.